Unfortunately, boy, this is the co-meet event. It's Albert Derive taking on the Iron Turtle, but before we break it down, shout out to our latest subs, 2K Cameron, Sheets4444, Brett Gordon, Martin Fortner, and of course the homie Alex Spinazzola. Appreciate you guys growing and showing with the boys, and in this one, Meat Boy, it is kind of a snoozer of a co-meet, but Derive is a plus 130 dog, coming in off a pretty decent most recent win against Chitty and Joe Kuwani, and that was a close fight. It was a controversial split decision, but a fight where Drive did have some good moments, and you could make an argument that he won that fight. And it was good to see him rebound from that stoppage loss to Joaquin Buckley, which I thought was a little bit concerning. I kind of thought he would uh, display better skills in that fight, but nonetheless, Buckley was able to get that finish. But I keep wanting to reflect back to the fight before Buckley, which was against Roman Kopilov, who is a guy who maybe I've been a little bit slow to the party of, but. The guy keeps getting better. He keeps winning fights. So for me, that's a win for Derive that I think is uh, aging pretty gracefully. And coupled with the fact that this guy's always getting rounds with Sean Strickland, uh, with Milkman, this is a guy who I think might be uh, might have some dog value against the Turtle. Who, while yes, he's on a great three fight win streak. If we examine those wins, I mean, he eked a split decision victory against Eric Anders, aka Ya Boy, and he beat Joseph Holmes, aka Ugly Man Joe, and. Ugly Man Joe's probably the worst guy on roster, and most recently he beat Dennis Tolulin, who is another mid-tier middleweight. So, what are your thoughts on this one, Meat Boy? Do you think that Iron Turtle is better than all these mid-tier middleweights, or in typical mid-tier middleweight fashion, is the dog in Derive going to be the one to uh, sleep the turtle? Who you take? Yeah, you know, this is a, this is a very solid, solid co-meet event. Um, a little surprised that Jack Della didn't take it, but I guess this will do. Um, yeah, you know, P Iron Turtle's been on a good fight streak since he lost to RoboCop, which, you know, how can a turtle beat a cop? So, makes sense why he lost that one, but first to rev, I don't know, I just don't see, I'm not sold on the Russian. I gotta go with Iron Turtle. I like momentum. This guy's 50% win-lose. My boy, Iron Turtle. Three fight win streak right now, unstoppable. So this should be a juicy, uh, you know, I th those odds. I don't know. I wish they were a little closer. I I'm actually surprised that he's the favorite to be honest in this. But I wish they're a little closer because I think he's gonna win this. I think it's gonna be first round KO. Yeah, see, for me, I don't know. I would be a little bit surprised if Turtle was able to get the early KO finish, just because I mean, historically we've seen him at, primarily as a decision machine. Or if he is picking up finishes, which to his credit he has recently, they have been by submission. And we know Derive is a guy historically who is pretty difficult to finish. Again, I know Buckley did it somewhat recently, but historically he's a, usually a pretty tough, durable guy, which adds to the surprise level that I had uh, with that Buckley outcome. But in this one, Tapology is pretty split. Meat Boy, one of those interesting fights where the favorite is not garnering the majority. And 57% is rolling with Albert. 43% is rolling with the Turtle. It's basically beige on both sides, though. So I know you picked KO, for, uh, a park KO, but do you see a world where this could be just a drag him out absolute 15 minute snoozer? Yeah, I could. Honestly, as much as a snoozer, this probably will be finish or no finish. It's probably more exciting than the main event. <laughs> Unfortunately, that might be true. And shoot, I remember a uh, a couple weeks ago when we got Kennedy and Zetruku versus someone. I can't even remember. I think it was against Iwan Kutelaba, but that was a co meet that somehow overnight became a main event. And our fingers are crossed that the meat lock of Holly Holm doesn't fall through. But you can just see, I mean, the writing's on the wall for how abysmal this card is start to finish. I just feel like we're going to end up with a. Albert Derive versus Iron Turtle meet event. And when we do meet boy, I'm going to take Derive to get this one done. I am impressed with Jun Young Park's win over my boy Mark Andre Barriol, aka the Power Bar, because I think the Power Bar is the best worst fighter at 185. But in this one, I just think Derive's going to be a little bit tougher, a little bit more well rounded. And I like Derive to win a snooze fest decision in this one, but I anticipate this fight being very close, and I might even be inspecting what both fighters look like to win by split slash majority decision, because I can see this fight being razor thin, and by the end of it, we throw our hands up in the air and say, who knows who won that one, so maybe some juicy beef for the split slash majority on both sides, but with that being said, 
taking Derive for the pick. I just think uh, Iron Turtle, too slow. Any last thoughts? No, yeah, it's been a very fun one, very interesting one. Don't comments who you take in and why. Make sure to smash my subscribe and check out the meat lock. <laughs>